God bless. And I pray for Jesus' name that all of you are safe today. And that we can learn to do that which is good in the Lord's eyes. So, I guess I'll just go straight into the video. I've kind of held off a while for this one. I won't lie. Back on uh, 24th of the 6th of this year. I'd had a dream, and on the night before I went to sleep of that day, so on the 23rd, I would have asked for this, I prayed, I would have a dream from God, for I'd never asked for a dream before, I never felt worthy to ask for such a thing, if that would make sense, I'd never wanted to presume anything or put God to the test, so I never felt that would be the way forward for me. Uh, I'd seen all these testimonies, people having all these dreams. So I decided oh, I would ask for a dream. And I guess the dream I had was not the dream I expected. I realised that I would have that day. So I guess I'll start with the dream I had on the day I asked God for a dream. And in the dream I was in a place with strangers, many people I didn't know or recognise, all from different walks of life. We all, we'd all been gathered by like the police forces. We were all, all together and we were taken from one house and then all put together into another house. Now I don't know where we were. And remember the houses weren't like all close together. Like, uh, we got one house, one house, one house, one house, that's like that, all, all attached in the great row, it wasn't like that. These like individual houses with space around them from what I remember. So I'm with a group of people, various ages, male, female, all different walks of life. And we're put into this house. And I remember this sense of urgency in myself, wanting to escape and get away. I remember being really uncomfortable, I went through a lot of emotions in the dream, which was very unusual because normally just sleeping, sleeping, and in my dream I don't really have much feeling or emotion normally, but in this particular dream I felt a lot of urgency, and so we're in this strange house, and well we have to obey the police, I don't know why, what's going on, so we're in a stranger's house, I don't know. It's still got things in it, so you can see, right, but the, whoever lived there, their pictures on the walls, or whoever lived there, their pictures on the walls, the layout, the designs, pe the people with us, we're all searching for something. I don't know what it is we're meant to find, but we're looking for something in this house. So there's like whatever's left of food, where we're looking, we're noticing that, and also uh, people... They're still kind of going about like the normal lives while, while tr in this house, like as if norm as if this is normal, but it's not normal. And it's like some one person there they're on a phone, other person's listening to music. And it's like no one seems to see seems to really care. So I've got it written down. So if you see me looking down a lot, you understand I'm rereading this this to jog my own memory because I had this a little while ago. So, so people are just being normal, but there's like this warning in myself that we're, we're like cattle. And there's this like, this point comes up in my dream because at the time, not long before, it had been made that we, uh, you know, everyone's an automatic organ donor now. And there was this whole thing about like, Everyone's chipped or something, or to be chipped, or is chipped. And it's like, this chip is for cattle, so for like collecting cattle for harvest. And it's why everyone's now an automatic donor in this dream, and it's like this terrible urgency about it. And I'm like trying to tell people, and they're just not listening, they don't care, they don't want to know. Some people, they're apathetic, don't know if you mind. Other people are quite aggressive and and really don't like hearing you speak to them about God or anything. There's quite a negativity in them. 
and they turn their hearts hard against you. And when I'm waiting for the police to move us again to other buildings, other houses if you will. Now they seem to be unaware of what's going to happen. Right, there's no urgency, something bad's coming. So we're like all searching through these houses. And I remember going in one room. And it's like there's no people in these houses. That still live there. They're just empty homes. And I remember finding a child's room. And feeling really sad. And I was like looking. And I could see like the toys. And the children's bed. The colour of the room. The warmth of the carpet. And I remember this house particularly had three floors. And I remember going up a wooden staircase. With wooden walls. And I think the staircase was winding from what I remember. And at the top was a small room with a rocking chair. And I remember that room was very wooden. A lot, lot, lot of wood. Not sure if that means anything specifically. But everything was wood. And I remember a box. Like an open box. Or an open cylindrical box. I'm not entirely sure how to explain it. But had lots of different walking sticks. And I think this was like an elderly man's room and it was small and it didn't have much things in it. I think there was a table or a desk from what I remember. And I remember taking one of these walking sticks, a solid wood one to be specific. And I was like desperate to get out of this house. And people were searching for things for themselves in the house. And... I remember looking through a window to get out and I can see other buildings in like houses that aren't attached in distance but there's snow everywhere, everything's snow and there's the odd tree about but outside you can just see police patrolling and there seems to be police like pretty much everywhere and I remember in the dream I open a window on a lower floor and I see no one about and I jump out the window I remember being all dressed in black, but everything is snow. And all the police are dressed in white, and there's police absolutely everywhere. And as I'm running in this snow, and I'm noticing all the police have assault rifles. And you can barely notice them, except for the black guns. But they're clothed all white. And at the same time at this, I notice like a hill and there's like groups of like people, police in white but different not dressed like the ones patrolling with guns and these are the cadets these are the ones that have been recruited in and I'm like running thinking there's no way I'm going to hide from these people they are going to see me so I throw myself to the ground hoping they'll run by and literally it's just a swathe of people running in a row from the top of the hill all snow it's going on for quite a while, these people, and four of them notice me and come upon me. But they don't seem to want to do anything. Because they're like new and they're like, we don't want any hassle and we're kind of doing it. We don't really know what to do. And this could get us in more trouble than, than not. So they end up just leaving me be. And I end up carrying on. And from this point, is, uh, I'm trying to remember the exact order now. But there was a point where, like, they see like all these people sitting down cross-legged like you would when you were in school as a kid assembly. But all in rows, as far as the eye can see, in rows people. But they're all bound by the hands. So like their hands are bound with rope, thick rope, like chained kind of thing, but with rope. All in rows, waiting, sobbing, and police as far as the eye can see, watching these thick rows of people. All I can think is I want to save all these people, but they're bound. I don't know what to do, and all I have is this walking stick with me. And I end up going into another building at this point. Um, there's like groups of these new police cadets hobbled around like a fire, happy to be alive, but they have to eat human flesh. Now, it seems to be a really specific thing, but they had to eat human flesh through the dream, which was really odd. So they're like, oh, like as if they'd never eaten it before, but they're cooking it. And I remember them kind of being like, 
I'm glad we haven't died, but we really don't want to eat what they have to eat. And then these rows of people, I seem to like become myself again outside the building. Because it's as if I drift through them and they don't even see me while I'm watching them in this building. In a little group of the, their own, these police cadets. All around to cook this meat, this human flesh that they have to eat. So that they can live and they've taken the mark. I don't see the mark but they've been marked. And this is something they have to do. So that they won't be executed. So this gives them extra days of life but. I don't know at what cost. Now. So. All these people in rows. Are all kind of just waiting there but. I remember thinking to myself, the people in the house I was just with, that I'd left and escaped from, they're unaware of these rows of people all waiting for something to happen to them. They're just doing as they're told, and all I can think is, this is going to be your turn next. You're going to be with this group at some point. I just see these swathes of people, and I want to save them. I remember I get the walking stick. I go up to one of these people, and I'm trying to use it to undo his binds so he can get his hands out free but literally these rows of people are as far as my eye can see as if infinite and I realise that I'm not going to be and all these people are saying save us, help us, save us, free us and I end up seeing the group that I saw but they're sitting at a table bound as if they've just been brought there I'm trying to help these people and I realise I can't help everyone but I want to help everyone. And I see other people about that aren't bound at one point. And a couple of my people I actually know. Sorry, my cat's next to me. Walking on my stuff. And some of these people I know and some of them I don't. And they seem to be unaware of them. Completely happy. But they're not bound. And they're walking through these groups seeing this at one point. And all these people that are tied up, I end up like just running past all these rows. Realising I can't do anything. And I'm shouting at each and every person saying, you have to pray through Jesus' name. This is your time, you have to pray. It's the only way you're going to be saved. So I'm running through everyone. And they're all bad. And I tell them, pray to Jesus, repent of your sins and never sin again. Only God can save you now. Then I wake up. Now. That was my dream. And that was the first time I'd ever asked. And I prayed quite earnestly for this dream. I didn't expect to see what I saw. Because I'd seen so many people speaking. I think they're. I'm still learning. I've only. Last few months. Been studying the Bible now. And learning everything since things I've seen. And. My life has changed quite dramatically from that. But I've been hearing about rapture and obviously I wanted the dream. I was hoping to see that I'd be saved deep down in my heart. But in the dream I saw, everyone's in these groups being taken. And there's quite this deep insistence that people have to eat flesh and those that eat flesh will be saved. But they will become the police. And... I'm trying to think what it all means really but this was I was I remember being very urgency to escape to run away I remember being scared I remember being sad seeing all these people I remember really wanting to save everyone but realizing that I couldn't save everyone and not knowing what to do and then realizing the only way I could save them was to tell them about Jesus and to repent to tell them to not sin again and to pray through Jesus name and, to, and that only God could save them now and waking up and I woke up at 4.20 in the morning and started writing all of this when I'd had my dream so I wouldn't forget it hence why I'm looking down every now and then because of my notes from my dream as you can see, hoping that comes out clear or backwards, I'm not sure. I ain't too good with technology, to be honest with you. But I, I pray.
pray someone with discernment far more great than I can like, can take something from this and if even just one person hears it and thinks repent of your sins and follow God then I, I pray this helps you so I pray for you Jesus name that we all gather safely in peace and love and kindness and if there be any wicked spirits that are attacking us or making us do that that would be bad that they be removed of us in the name of Jesus we pray amen God bless all of you.